Our article about the Long Island Railroad disaster of 1893 mentions how many people were on the trains because Sousa's concert had just let out. A perusal of the papers from that summer of 1893 shows countless advertisements promoting Sousa's band at Manhattan Beach every afternoon and evening, and not surprisingly, the Long Island Railroad was running its own advertisements for their great excursion routes to the sea to see Sousa's band with several thick paragraphs of directions on the rails. This was all part of the Jubilee of Music, described by the New York Times that summer as an annual event. The Sousa concert was held at Payne's Outdoor Theater, a blockbuster type of performance venue in the days before movies. They played Storming of Vittsburg along with Grand Fireworks, presumably actual fireworks and not another piece of music. The New York Times described it at the time. 500 infantry, two squadrons of cavalry, and two batteries of artillery will participate in the mimic fray, and the lake within the enclosure is now being deepened to accommodate the iron-clad gunboats and other craft which will share in the assault. As a prelude to the artillery duel, and the advance of the storming columns, tableaus and incidents illustrative of life in the South before the war will be presented. One hundred jubilee singers will join in the rendition of favorite camp meeting hymns and other melodies. A mimic of a plantation during slavery times. The ironclad gunboats referred to would include the famous Monitor, built in Greenpoint by Continental Shipbuilding Corporation at 64 Collier Street. A different Times article describes further that the memory of P.S. Gilmore will be recalled in a mammoth fire picture, and after it will be shown the portrait of Sousa. Gold versus silver will also have a prominent place. The World's Fair novelties, floating designs, the essence of moonlight, and a trip to Mars are also among the features of the 20 devices prepared. 2,000 rockets will light up the air and 500 shells will be exploded. P.S. Gilmore was a famous composer who had died the year before. He had served in the Union Army in the Civil War and wrote the lyrics to the extremely famous song When Johnny Comes Marching Home. He is called by those who know, as written by writer Frank J. Sipola, the most prominent and celebrated bandmaster in the 19th century prior to Sousa. As the Sousa at Manhattan Beach concerts were being promoted all summer, the Brooklyn Daily Eagle published an article praising Sousa as Gilmore's successor, the man who is recognized as the leading bandmaster.